guys, welcome to the video, my name is Scripts and today I'm going to teach you guys how to properly download, install and utilize iLusity. This video may be a little long so I recommend that you check the timestamp on the bottom of the video so that you can easily organize yourself, okay? Let's go. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to my website, cryptsap.com as you can see on the screen right now, okay? On my website, this is the home page right here, you're in the home page, okay, as you can see the top, home page. And you're gonna have these little slides that is gonna pass by over time they're gonna give you some information okay there you go and as you can see over here on the VIP slide we saw VIP rank and it says I lose it the software that we want to buy which means that for you to purchase um, I lose it okay you can either be a VIP subscriber which means you're gonna pay ten dollars every single month or you can just come over here to the subscription and click on shop okay and in here you can see I lose it right here and you can purchase it now if you are somebody that keeps that stays updated on my codes you know that I have a 90% um, promotion code right now it's on your email so if you want that 90% promotion code just go to your email search for crypt and you will know you will get the email and then click on the email and there's a code right there that you can utilize when you purchase I lose it and that's gonna lower the price of I lose it from $20 to probably like two dollars i don't remember the exact number the promotion um amount the percentage i do know that i sent um 10 codes of 50 percent discount and two codes of 90 percent discount so if you're lucky you probably received that one but everybody has the 50 percent discount so you can utilize it to lower the price of a losing to ten dollars that's to know if you utilize it i'll know that you're also active and i can do probably some giveaways later on anyways so here's I lose it for you to purchase you're gonna click right here you're gonna click on buy now okay as lose it comes if you come down to this page you're gonna see the actual um, features of I lose it right here okay um, fire cycle it has infinite profiles plus the required table creation it has mode switch which allows you to switch mode um, and includes a lot of a lot of other features this video is not working because my other YouTube channel got taken down um, so let's go now and let's let me teach you guys how to do it so first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna want to buy i lose it so you click buy now but for that you're gonna have to be logged in right now i'm not logged in as you can see so i'm gonna click buy now and it's gonna ask me to log in okay now the thing why the reason why there you go right here login for faster checkout so that's why i recommend you log in you don't have to log in because technically speaking, I lose it. When you buy stuff here, you get a one-time access code to it. So you don't actually have to log in, but I recommend you do. And you have these options right here, right? You have PayPal, you have credit card, and you can enter a promotion code right here. If you have that promotion code, you can use it right here, okay? Um, PayPal right here, you can use your PayPal account, you can use your credit card, debit card, whatever you want to use, okay? Anyways, I'm not going to purchase it. All right. So after you have purchased it, you will receive um, a link to access it, right? You will receive a, a, a download page, okay? Now, if you are a VIP member, you come over here to member, VIP. I need to log in for that, so I'm going to log in real quick. If you're a VIP member, you have access to this page, the VIP page. You click right here, and there you go. I'm on the VIP page, okay? As you can see, you have access to more of the same softwares that are in the shop page. But the difference is, you can't just purchase you can just download them immediately from here because you have access to them so you can download them from here as you can see there you go all right so you can purchase them right here it says vp only vp only and vp only there you go so you can just click download so let me download i lose it real quick i'm gonna download it there you go it's downloading now I already have I lose it in my computer, so I'm not gonna finish the download. As you can see, it says I lose it v0.72. So I have two other files on my computer right now. So I'm gonna just bring it to your desktop and teach you guys how to do it. So there you go. So I have I lose it right here. Now my I lose it is a zip file. Okay. Um, I recommend that you have seven zip download in your computer or WinRAR so that you can easily extract this file. Okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on it, extract to I lose it v0.7. Okay. So it creates a new folder called Illusory V0.7 on your desktop. There you go. Now I have this folder on my desktop called Illusory V0.7. You can, you can delete this uh, WinRAR 
or you can save it i recommend you save it somewhere safe don't delete it all right now this folder over here has everything we need so we're gonna open it now we have this other folder over here i lose your 0.7 i'm gonna put the zoom up a little bit i'm gonna open this folder and now as you can see inside of this um folder we have config creator we have i lose it and we have a few sound um files and we have a read more document you can read the read more document okay i recommend that you do i'm not gonna read it okay so let's begin now so now we're gonna create a configuration file so you're gonna click choice on config creator right here click choice that's gonna open cmd document which says welcome to config editor v2 create configuration file for a game set up a specific weapon configuration set configuration and enjoy so these are different steps so the first step is create configuration file for a game and that's right here step one type name of game so the name of the game i'm going to be using this file for is going to be pubg name of first three repository configuration i'm going to name akm barrel and mp4 profile created and the file closes and there you go now I have gamepubg.ini. If you right click on this file and click edit, you're gonna be able to see that it created a configuration file with all these settings. These are all the features inside of this um, recoil assistant. Okay, As you can see there's a lot of features and it's really good. Okay, now let's create another one. Let's say we also want to have one for Call of Duty, which is a game that's really being played right now. When you reopen Config Creator, that's what I did, just did, right? I click twice on it again. When you reopen it from the second time, it's gonna say do you wish to create a new configuration file or you want to edit one that you already have right so you notice that there's already one there and yes if you want to create a new one or you want to edit so i want to create a new one there you go so displace that now let's do the same thing step one again name of game i want to do for call of duty now whatever thing you type in here doesn't matter you can even type like whatever you want to type right it's gonna work I'll, i recommend keeping organized and typing the name of an actual game so call of duty Name of first three weapons. Now I really like playing with the um in Call of Duty. I really like playing with the um what is it called? The Growl. It's my favorite. But the Growl doesn't have a lot of recoil though. So you want to put weapons here that have a good amount of recoil. Or if they don't have a lot of recoil, you can also modify that and I can teach you guys. So Growl. I also like playing with the AS Val, even though the AS Val doesn't have a lot of recoil. I play with the AS Val with not a lot of good attachments for recoil. And then I also like playing with the new gun, FFAR, something like that. Things called FFAR, or I also like playing with the Farah. Okay, there you go, profile created. Now, just because I created a profile with only three guns, does not mean that I'm limited to three guns. You can actually have more than three guns in here. So, I'm gonna get into that later on when we begin modifying the configuration file. But if you wanna get to that point, check the timestamp of this video, okay? And then just move to that time. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open actual Illusory. We're gonna open Illusory right here. As you can see, there's a little icon right here on Illusory, which is a, like a, a shield, right? And this means that we're gonna open Illusory with administrator settings. Now, you wanna make sure that every single time you open Illusory, you, you open it as administrator. So you can right click on it, run as administrator. That's very important, okay? Now, mine is already gonna start like that because it has a shield right here. So I'm gonna open it, click twice, click yes, there you go. Now, I lose it automatically notice that I have two profiles in this file. I have profile zero, which is game call of duty.ini, which we just created. And I have profile one, which is game pubg.ini, which we just created. So typing the corresponding number for the profile. So what number, what profile I want to activate right now? I want to activate the call of duty profile because I feel like playing call of duty. So I'm press zero, enter, boom. It immediately opens the profile the profile is here and it's properly working okay we have a statistics so status the recoil reaction we have toggle recoil which means the recoil right now is false so it's not turned on we have rapid fire which is set to false which is not turned on we have horizontal recoil control which is set to false and the value of it we have our effects which is set to true okay i'm gonna explain all of these later on we have profile switching, which this takes care of this whole area. So let me explain to you guys. So profile switching just pretty much. So let me open both of them at the same time so that you guys can see. All right. Now you guys can properly see what I'm talking about. So profile switching basically stands for this area right here. 
that's what profile switch is so right now it says that i'm in current mode mode basic so i'm right now mode basic right here current mode mode basic i'm here and then in there i'm using the gun growl so this is just like a header right so everything here is from the mode basic everything here is from the mode quadruple right now i'm using mode basic all right and i'm going to teach you guys how to modify that all right Growl. So what is mode basic and what a mode quadruple means? Mode basic basically means that in some games, when you attach a scope to it, right, your recoil increases, right? Because you know when you attach a scope, it's more zoom, so your recoil tends to increase more, right? So the gun tends to go up more. So, but in some of those games, you pick up a scope from the floor, right? Which means that you can change these on the go. You can change mode basic to mode quadruple on the go by pressing caps lock. As you can see over here, it says switch mode, keybinds on the keybind section. It says switch mode, caps lock, right here. So if you press caps lock right now, it's gonna switch to quadruple. There you go, it's mode quadruple right now. And I'm using the same gun, I'm using the grab. Okay, which means now it's mode quadruple and I'm using these values these recoil values right here so this is the actual recoil pattern okay you can modify this you can add more numbers just make sure there's a comma divide um, between them okay or you can lower the amount of numbers there you go okay so that's what mode quadruple is and that's how you modify the recoil pattern so this is a gun and what is a gun equals to what is the recoil pattern for the gun this is a recoil pattern for the gun Okay. As you can see, it duplicated the guns, but it modified the actual recoil patterns. So we have the same guns on the mode basic and the same guns in the mode quadruple because they're just different modes, they're just different like amount of recoil. Okay. Anyways, here we can see the keybind section. Okay. So on the keybind section, you can see a switch mode caps lock, which we just use. Now, how do I get to that? So if you come over here to the actual file over here, you can see that there's something called featuring keys right here, right? So here, as you can see, mode switch is set to caps lock, which means if I press caps lock, it's going to switch the mode. And we just tried that. I'm going to press it again so you guys can actually see caps lock, right? As you can see, I press caps lock and it switches the mode. I'm pressing it right now. Okay. Right now it's basic. Right now it's quadruple and I'm pressing caps lock. If I want to change this key, I can change it to something else, like non-lock or whatever, right? You can just come over here and type non-lock. Just make sure you type it correctly, okay? Now, as you can see, rapid fire is on. Let me actually turn it off real quick because I pressed the key by accident. There you go. There you go. All right, we're going to get to that later on. Um, Anyways, so mode switch does that. I'm going to set it to caps lock again. Okay. There you go. Uh, horizontal recoil is set to false. You can turn it, you can type true here. And then that will actually, so when you turn on your recoil, which I'm going to teach you in a little bit, when you turn on your recoil, that will actually begin to work your, your um, horizontal recoil, which means the script is not only going to go down, it's also going to go fast from, from side to side. You can change that to true by typing true right here. Okay. Trigger breath is just basically what it means. It's it's automatic. So while you're shooting, the script is gonna notice that you're shooting, and while you're shooting, it's gonna press this key automatically. Now that's if you have a set to true. Right now it's false. But if you wanna hold your breath while you're shooting, you put this to true. And then here you type the key that you use to hold your breath. Now, if you're smart, you know that this actually doesn't just mean holding breath. You can actually modify this to anything else. You can even put while you're shooting, if you wanted to press space, you can just put space right here. And while you're shooting, it's going to keep pressing space. If you like to be a frog while shooting. If you want to do like drop shot, drop shot on Call of Duty, you can put um, Z. For example, I press my, my, the key for me to lay down is Z. So while, it's, while you're shooting, it's going to keep pressing Z. So it's going to keep getting up and down. So, you know, you can use that for other reasons, sure. Turbo crouch, same thing. Um, he automatically crouches down while he's shooting. Okay, so when you shoot, he crouches down. Now, you can set this to true, and it's going to keep doing that over and over again. It's going to get up and get down, get up and get down. That's just to make your harder shots for your enemy. 
rapid fire rapid fire you, you probably know what it is it, it just shoots faster okay it just it makes a single fire gun or a burst gun shoot like an automatic gun okay so you press it the, the thing you press it and then you're just gonna keep you press your left click and it's gonna keep on shooting that's what an automatic gun is okay gonna keep on shooting okay which means it leads to higher recoil but rapid fire is gonna take care of that rapid fire what it does is that if you have set it to true and then you press the p key your mouse is gonna keep on pressing the key for you okay so all you need to worry about now is just re controlling the recoil which this part takes care of so everything the whole script takes care of shooting for you you just gotta aim at the enemy fire rate you don't need to change that but fire rate will basically modify how fast or how um, slow the mouse goes down and up and I'm gonna explain it to you now so let's catch the point how do you activate the recoil let's do that so as you can see right here it says essential keys essential keys are keys that are essential keys that change something that is essential to the script so recoil is essential this whole script is based on recoil so if you come to essential key and you press the key X right here if I press X while here it's gonna make a little sound and now the recoil is on as you can see I'm pressing left click and the recoil is going up and down up and down it's going up in speed and down in speed right it's modifying right and as you can see I was using the weapon AS val and these are the values so it just took these values and put it there that's all it did right and now I'm using it it says toggle recoil over here true I don't know if you can see very well but it says true right here and now I'm using it now if I want to disable it, press X again, it makes a little sound. If I want to enable it, press X, disable it, press X. Now if you don't like that annoying sound, which I don't like honestly, you can just come over here to, um, there's a new file that got created called main configuration right here, edit, and you can disable that annoying sound by coming over here to audio effects in advance and pressing false, and typing false. And that's how you disable that annoying sound. So now if we reopen, um, I lose it. It's not gonna have that annoying sound anymore. Now let me open the same configuration file again. Zero. As you can see, it's not making any sound anymore. And I also enable horizontal. So as you can see, horizontal recoil is on, which means my mouse is actually moving from side to side now too. I'm not moving it, guys. My my the script is doing it for me. Okay. All right. Now let's get to the next part of this video, which is editing values. As you can see over here, I'm using mode basic current weapon growl and the these are the values now if I change the mode sorry if I, if I change the mode to quadruple the values are gonna be different because quadruple mode means that the values are stronger the values four five five six and the guns to the same you see now you can change the mode on the go so if I press caps lock right now and I press the activation thing it's gonna change the mode again and the values are different again it's one two three four okay now what if I want to modify those values so let's go back to game call of duty which is the one that we have activated right now okay let's go back to game call of duty cool as you can see right here we have the graph now what if i want to modify those values to a much stronger value like what if my recoil is, is stronger than just this right because in most games it is and that's actually in call of duty it may not be call of duty may be weaker so you can actually just lower these values for example in call of duty right for the girl my growl doesn't have a lot of recoil so i actually that's good enough for me my as well does have a good amount of recoil so let me actually do that yeah because it has a good amount of recoil in the beginning and the end right beginning ends my father has a huge amount of recoil because i, I use it for long range so i'm gonna use three one one three now remember i'm saying my because my guns have specific attachments on them that makes them like that call of duty right that's why um i'm modifying the values based on me now you need to modify the values based on you okay and now you remember what i said you can actually have more values in here and i'm actually going to demonstrate that you can have more values in here if you want to okay um for the ground i'm going to have more values of zero and then going back to one and two there you go so that it goes it starts going very slowly and then kind of stops moving for a little bit and then goes moving again and then goes a little bit down and then stops starts going slowly again right so kind of that's doing it. it's how fast it's moving your mouse down okay um all right so you can modify the values uh, as file for example here it's pretty good i mean i'm gonna do the same cycle again just so you guys can see and the power i can actually make it 
even higher later on, like five. All right, cool. Now let's activate it right now. And as you guys can see, I didn't even have to close the Illusity. You already automatically updated the values based on what I modified in here. So you don't actually have to close Illusity to modify the recoil values. You have to, do, to close Illusity to modify the key binds, but not to modify the recoil values. Okay, so anyways, let's try the new values of Grab. Now, one thing I didn't tell you guys yet is how to change profiles. So right now I'm in the Farah. What if I, and you, need, you see over here all weapons? I have the Grau, the S Val, and the Farah. I'm in the third weapon. Now, what if I want to use the Grau again? Just press 4. Okay, as you can see over here, change profile, right? 4 and 6. So that's the, the key binds that set that you can use to modify to change the profile. Changing profile is just changing guns. Right, right now I'm in the Farah, I need to go to the left. So press 4 left okay because four is in the left of the six in your, key, in your keyboard right all right so now i'm in the ground so let's check let's check the values all right yep the values are right so let's check those values there you go you stopped moving a little bit it went back to moving there you go it's gonna stop moving a little bit it's going back to moving it's like a cycle right it has a little random value into it so even though it might not look random it does have a little random so that you don't get banned from games okay there you go very good now let's try the AS4, which we modified a little bit. It's one, one, two, one, one, two, and keeps doing that over and over again. And you can see that here. One, one, two, one, one, two, okay? Now let's check the far run. There you go. So you can see it's three, one, one, three, two, five. So the five is when it goes down really quickly. Very good. Okay? And the reason why it's going side to side is because of the horizontal, because I is enabled. If you want to disable it, you come over here again, like I said, and turn it to false, like I said. All right, very good. Now, what if we want to change to mode quadruple? We can do that. Press caps lock in middle game. All right, caps, caps lock. One time, just press, just press it one time and let it go. All right. And now I want to modify the guns again. Same thing. You press 4 and 6. You want to use the grove on quadruple mode. You press 4 and 6. There you go. And now I can use it. And now the values are much stronger. The values are actually 4, 5, 5, and 6. Because for mode quadruple, I didn't modify the values. Okay, so that's how pretty much that works. It's just basically you're gonna have to try many things over time, and like try out the scripts. But just remember, there's a configuration file back of it. So if you, if for some day you forget where the configuration file is, you can always come over here to configuration file path and go to this location on your computer. Okay, and and just basically modify it there. If you want to exit out the script, you press H. There you go. And just exit out. Okay. Um, the script will exit out no matter what. So no matter where you are, if you press H, you will exit out the script. So don't forget that. If you want to modify that key, you can come over here to... Um, sorry. You can come over here to the configuration file on your game and modify the exit key. Okay. Because in some games, I know you may use H to do some things. Like if you use H to, for example, to heal, you, heal yourself up and you press H, your script will exit out. And that's why some people complain to me. They're like, yo, my script stopped working. No, it didn't. It's just because you closed it. If you close the script, it will stop working. The process will end. Anyways, very good. Now let's talk about game PUBG. Same thing. It's just PUBG. It's just a profile that I created. Okay, cool. As you can see over here, it's the same script, it's the same thing. There's literally no difference. I use, I created the same guns, right? But for PUBG, I created AKM, Barry, and P4. But everything else is the same, right? It comes with the settings already default. So like you have, you have to enable stuff again if you want to. Now, if you really like a settings from one configuration file, you can transfer over those settings to another one, right? So for example, let's say I really like these settings over here. I can copy this part. And I can just paste it right here. There you go. Now I copy my horizontal recoil values. I copy my keys. And it's all over here now. If you really like your patterns and your guns. You can copy over and put it over here. Okay. Control C. Control V. There you go. If you really like this. Control C. Control V. Now I don't like that because there is no such thing as growl in PUBG. So I'm actually going to modify that. My own. Right, you can, I'm showing you guys this because you guys can create your own um, recoil. So right now I'm in the game PUBG, right? I can create my own thing. So I, I can even take everything out here and put a new gun. So as long as it's a gun here, it's going to work. So for example, let's say I want 
I don't know. I, I want to play with the um, Barrel. Because honestly, Barrel is a gun that has a lot of recoil. Jesus. Alright, Barrel. And then... I want the values of 7, 7, 6, 7, 8. Alright? And then AKM, I want the values of a little lower value. 6, 6, 7, 5, 6. Um... MP5, I want the values of 4, 4, 3, 2, 4. Uzi. Uzi has a lot of recoil. 5, 5, 4, 3, 2. Very good. And the MP416. M416. Um, okay. And the M16A4. Um, Very good. What are the guns do I like um, to play? Oh, Scar. Scar. Scar is a legend. Uh, let's do this. 9, 9. Six and four, because some guns have an insane amount of recoil in the beginning. Like, if you play with the barrel, like my guy, you right now, that's that's watching watching this video. If you play with the barrel, you know that barrel has an insane recoil. Insane, you know that. Come on. So barrel has insane recoil in the beginning and in the end for me. So I actually gonna put a ten right there. So the beginning starts with a big pull down, and then gets chill afterwards and then goes down it goes fast a little bit more right because that's what the barrel does okay anyways you can actually even have more values if you want a more like a more really more um, how can i say if you want a more a stronger recoil pattern like a recoil pattern that's really more like it's better you want to have more values in here you want to really fine tune it okay you want to do a little fine tuning so you want to make it really like nice like that okay now you don't need to go that high, like that's too much. Usually in good recoil pattern it has uh eight numbers. Okay, this is more than eight numbers. A good recoil pattern has around eight numbers. Okay. So this is usually good, this is seven, but this is usually good. Okay. Um anything more than eight numbers is really good, but it's overkill. It's not needed. Eight numbers is good for a recoil pattern for the script with the fire rate of 10. It's good. Alright, let's try it out. So we modify the barrel, let's copy these values, copy this, put it down here, and make them a little stronger. Because, you know, for PUBG, that's when quadruple mode is really useful. Because for PUBG, you know that for sometimes you have your red dot on, right? For some guns. But then sometimes you find a 4x or 6x. That's when quadruple mode becomes really useful. Because you can just press caps lock, and then boom, your problems are solved. Now you can control recoil with the caps lock on. Right? With the quadruple mode on. You just gotta make sure this value is stronger. So I'm definitely gonna make these values much stronger than that. With the caps lock. Because I know that with 4x this 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 the recoil of these guns gets stronger. Now remember, based on attachment, the recoil can increase or decrease, right? Usually with the attachments the recoil is gonna decrease. But usually with the 4x, the end values are the strongest. So I'm actually gonna make sure the end values are the strongest here. Now the M416 has an amazing recoil for me usually. If I have a 4x with it, I usually have a compensator, so I'm gonna recoil values not that strong in this case. M16. Alright. And the scar, same thing again. Alright. The scar usually is a legend. I love the scar so much, but it has a good amount of recoil. As you can see, it has even more than the barrel in the end. All right, very good. So let's try that out. So remember, the key to activate is X. Now, if you don't like X, you can modify it. Let's press, let's do um, L, for example. All right, so, so, so we try something different. Now let's put the X key as X. Just so we try something different. Okay, cool, we save the file. Right click over here, save or control S. Go to your illusory, click yes. Enable, and this time you're gonna enable game PUBG. Very good. And then over here, as you can see, we already have the... Oh, I press, I press X back. <laughs> Alright, anyways. As you can see over here, we already have all the weapons. We have Barrel, AKM, MP5, Uzi, M416, M16, A4, and SCAR. The guns are recreated. If you want to change the mode, you press Caps Lock, like I said earlier. Okay. So right now, let's say, for example, I'm using the Barrel, right? I have a red dot. You press X. Off. I forgot. It's not X, guys. It's L. It's because I forgot that I changed. <laughs> See, that's the thing. You can't forget it. I'm gonna press L. There you go. And boom. That's my barrel right there for you guys. Okay? Those are the values. Okay? As you can see, those values are really strong. And you can actually see the mouse moving. That's not me moving the mouse, okay? There's no way I can move the mouse like that. Very good. Horizontal rec recoil is also on. Okay? 
now i personally i personally don't like horizontal recoil on pubg okay because when you get to far distances horizontal recoil is not that great i like mostly horizontal recoil in call of duty i do use in call of duty a lot but not in pubg yeah i know it's, i'm weird uh cool so there you go we have the barrel now let's change it up to the akm which has a weaker value all right we can check the values over here six six seven five six is gonna go much down much slower okay uh, we can go down to the M416, which has even weaker values. Okay, there you go. There you go, that's M416 for you. And remember, just because the mouse is moving doesn't mean you cannot move it too. I can move the mouse too if I want. Like, right now, there was me moving it. I can move the mouse up and down, right? The script will keep doing its thing, but you can still move it up and down. You can move it left and right, no problem. Okay. Uh, as you can see over here, the keybinds, recoil, turn on with L. Rapid fire, turn on with P. Rapid fire, on and off, turn on with K change profile that's how you change the guns that you're using okay you can press six and four when you get to the end of the list you need to go back so you need to press four okay there you go there you go now let's change to quadruple mode and let's see the difference between the bearing oh, I, I turned it off again guys sorry i'm so used to pressing x to turn on the recoil <laughs> i'm sorry Anyways, uh, <clears throat> let's turn on quadruple mode and let's try it out. There you go. That's the difference between quadruple mode, okay, and basic mode. So let me actually, that's quadruple mode right now. 15, 14, 13, 12, and 10. Those are the values. Let me press caps lock and let me turn basic. Just so you guys can see the difference. That's the difference, all right? So let's say you're playing your red dot right now, red dot. You pick up a 4X, you press caps lock, and then boom. It's already good for you, right? Press caps lock one time. Boom. And then start shooting the motherfucker, kill him. Alright? Very good, guys. So that's the video for you guys today. I hope I really went through with, um... I really explained well. I don't know. I hope I did. If I didn't explain well, just let me know in the comments, okay? Now, uh, remember, this video has timestamps. So I hope you follow them. Um, this is the end. But I'm gonna teach you guys one more thing. Let's say I wanna... I downloaded a new game. I downloaded, I don't know, um... Following. Okay? You can come over here, you can always create a new configuration file. Come over here to Config Creator, click twice, create new, Valorant. And then, I don't know the guns in Valorant, honestly. I know there's a Phantom gun, but that's all I know. I don't play Valorant a lot, so I'm just gonna put random things over here. There you go. And I created a new game, Valorant any file, edit. And you can always modify the names. Don't be afraid to modify things in here, guys. Really, like, don't be afraid to modify anything in here. Because if there is an error, the error is going to pop up to you and it's going to say what the error is. And then you can just tell me, hey, I got this error and then I'll fix it in the next update. But usually, I, you can modify almost anything in here and you would not have a problem. As long as you follow the things, like as long as you follow the, these values over here, the record part, you need to have a comma between them. Okay. It's like you cannot just do, you cannot do 65. The script will not know that one is 6 or other is 5. You need to have a comma between them. Okay. That's a separator. You need to have a name to the record pattern. So you need to have a name and an equal sign. Okay. And that's it. That's pretty much all you need to do. And the script will always work. You can modify this to like overkill. You can put this as overkill. You can change this as if it is different profiles for guns. Okay. So like, for example, let's say I have this as, um, I can even put like lots of recoil. And then the next profile is little recoil this way. And then this one is extreme recoil right you can even change like that so this way you know like hey i'm gonna use my lots of recoil profile right now which has really good values my little recoil has really weak values and my extreme recoil has really really strong values and then you can even put these turn them on and then you can actually add multi mouse you can move your mouse more down and up with this on so the script is really has no limits you can have as many guns as you want in here as long as you have a comma and I think separating your values, right? You can have literally as many guns as you want. There's no problem with that whatsoever. Okay. And you can go on for ages. So why not buy it? Why not purchase I lose it? Right? It's safe. It still works. And you won't get banned for using it. Okay. But remember, anything you do with any applications, it's your responsibility. Okay. That's the key for it, right? It's your responsibility. You downloaded it, you executed it. 
I'm saying you won't get banned because from my own experience, nobody has gotten banned for using Elucidity. Okay, if you do get banned, it's because you got reported too many times. But you cannot get banned for process yet because I have been using Elucidity for every single one of these games. PUBG, Valorant. I used Elucidity for Valorant. I have to, right? Because I have to try it out in that. I even used Elucidity for Ark. Ark Survival. <laughs> uh, to try it out. Call of Duty. I haven't got banned. So I know you don't get banned for it, right? I tried doing crazy things, I tried getting reported many times, nothing happens. So you are safe, all you gotta do is go to my website and purchase it or become a VIP member and then there you go, I lose it is yours. Make sure you take care of those promotion codes that I sent you guys on email, okay? And make sure you subscribe to my channel, thank you very much and have a nice evening.